So The Flash is finally back after an extremely long break and it did not disappoint. As expected, the episode focused on the speed drug Velocity 9 and we got some more information on Zoom. So let's run down some of the big moments of the episode and make some predictions. The first thing we're going to talk about is the big issue, which is Cisco vibing. What? And now let's talk about Cisco vibing Zoom, taking off his mask and seeing what he thinks is their Jay Garrick. So now let's summarize what the team thinks. Now just preceding this reveal, Barry says that they have seen speedsters be in two places at once before by using a speed mirage. And they immediately jump to the conclusion that Zoom is the same Jay Garrick that was part of Team Flash, which was killed by Zoom. They all feel betrayed and how could they be fooled again? Barry races off to a cannon and shouts, no! Probably not exactly like that. Eliza Harmon had a Dr. Jekyll mistake to hide split personality with trajectory being her evil side. Now I think that the show wants us to think that the velocity serum caused this and that Jay Garrick and Zoom are in fact the same person and that Zoom is his evil side. But we know for a fact that Zoom is not the same Jay Garrick that was killed. Zoom and Jay Garrick are separate people, as Zoom would have no need to carry on doing a speed mirage and act as though he were a dead body when no one is looking, if you see what I mean. So Team Flash are incorrect in assuming that it's the same Jay Garrick that they knew. They don't for a second even consider that he's Jay's twin or his doppelganger from another Earth. I think that reveal is going to come later in the season, along with the reveal of the man in the iron mask. Personally, I'll be disappointed in the show if it turns out that Jay Garrick and Zoom are simply the same person. For me, there are far too many plot holes for that to be the explanation. For me the biggest new piece of information is the explanation as to why Zoom's lightning is blue. Now just before Trajectory completely disintegrates, her lightning goes blue, leading the team to correctly surmise that blue lightning is a side effect of overdosing on the Velocity Serum. Another side effect is that it breaks down the body. It seems to break down normal humans like Eliza Harmon faster than it breaks down speedsters who have the speed force. Which explains why Zoom doesn't just disintegrate like Eliza did, as he had the speed force before taking the Velocity Serum and is a metahuman. So this basically confirms what many predicted, that Zoom is sick from the Velocity Serum and that the Velocity Serum is also extremely addictive. So let's quickly summarize. Zoom wants two things. He wants to retain his speed and be the only speedster, but he also wants to reverse the cellular degradation that is taking place in his body. Now Zoom has two options that will cure him and allow him to retain his speed. Firstly, perfect the Velocity Serum. I think he was hoping that Jay Garrick of Earth 2, who is also sick, would be able to find a cure on Earth 1 with the help of Caitlyn. I think he was letting Jay live while they perfected the Velocity Serum on Earth 1. Once Caitlyn had worked out all the problems and experimented on Jay, then Zoom could take the perfected Velocity Serum and be cured, while still retaining his speed. Now the second option that Zoom has, according to his plan, is to steal the speed force of other speedsters. Now it's unclear exactly how taking the speed force can cure his cellular degradation, only we know that it does help in some way. So this appears to be Zoom's only option at this point. I further think that the man in the iron mask in Zoom's lair is also sick from the Velocity Serum. As we can see here in episode 15 just before Zoom comes back to his lair, he appears to be writhing in pain. After this episode, I am more convinced that Zoom is Jay Garrick's doppelganger from another Earth, beyond Earth 1 and Earth 2, and that the man in the iron mask is also a Jay Garrick doppelganger, possibly from Earth Prime. However, I now have another theory that the man in the iron mask could possibly be Barry Allen from the future or Barry Allen from another Earth beyond Earth 1 and 2. Now the main reason for this theory came upon re-watching episode 15. Now if you look here in this scene, the shot is so definitely set up to make it seem as though he and Barry are the same person. Mirror opposites or doppelgangers. His mannerisms are very similar to Barry when he shakes his head in episode 14 and his body type is more slender than that of Jay Garrick's. But these are all just theories at this point. So what do you all think? Do you think Zoom is just the evil version of Jay Garrick and that he was doing a speed mirage all along? Or is Zoom a Jay Garrick doppelganger from another Earth who is all also sick from the Velocity Serum. And is the man in the Iron Mask another Jay Garrick, perhaps from Earth Prime? Or is he Barry Allen from the future, or his doppelganger? Let's discuss! Also, I'm going to do an extra Q&A Flash video later this week, so please include any questions that you want me to try and answer. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and then share it. And why not check out my Flash playlist, which has all my theories on who Zoom and the man in the Iron Mask is. I post lots of videos every week on comic book movies, TV, including Star Wars and other blockbusters, so why not subscribe? Thanks again. Cheers for now.